In this video, I'm gonna review the hardest working tool in my shop, my dust collector. After more than 12 years of use, this Oneida V3000 Cyclone continues to do its job. It really has been the unsung hero of my shop. Every time I use the table saw, the joiner, the router table, and the like, it runs. It's the most called on tool in my shop. While my V3000 has been great, there have been some obstacles with owning it. I'm gonna share with you all the details and a few modifications that I've made along the way. Most importantly, I wanna give you insight on why you should consider upgrading your shop to a central dust collection system. A good place to start is why you should even consider a stationary cyclone collector. First off, cyclones come in many sizes. You might have seen those add-on collectors like the Oneida Dust Deputy that create some benefits of the cyclone by attaching it to your shop vacuum. But the real benefit of this big collector, like the V3000, is its ability to capture all the chips and dust, down to 0.3 microns. It's the really fine dust that is dangerous for your health. Particles so small, they find their way into the deepest part of your lungs, where they can cause lung disease. Shop vac add-ons and those bagged systems that you see in a lot of shops typically can't catch the small stuff and really just transfer the most dangerous dust right back into the shop air. For that reason alone, a HEPA rated cyclone like this V3000 is the way to go. I purchased this Oneida V3000 system in 2010 and they still sell the 3000 today. A few aspects have changed, but it's basically the same machine. The body of the Cyclone is heavy gauge steel with a smooth powder coated paint job. It stands 7 feet 4 inches tall. I purchased the system with a 35 gallon dustbin drum. It's also available with a larger 55 gallon drum, which could be a consideration if your shop has a low ceiling like a basement. It's driven by a USA made 3 horsepower, 230 volt lesson motor drawing 13 amps, so you'll likely need a dedicated circuit. The motor has performed flawlessly since the day it was purchased. It has never overheated, blown a fuse, or failed to run. As I mentioned, the filter media on this V3000 is HEPA rated, meaning that it traps dust particles 150 times smaller than a human hair. I've never had a clog, and this is the original filter that came with the unit 12 years ago. The V-System is activated with a small key fob sized radio frequency remote. I have two of them. One sits on the table saw, and the other is on the opposite end of my shop, just for convenience. The remotes seem to last only three to five years before they become unreliable. I've taken them apart several times in effort to try to repair them without much luck. The small micro switch on off button is always what seems to fail. Bummer is they are fairly pricey to replace at $35 each plus shipping from Oneida. Another big part of having an excellent performing cyclone system is the duct work. The cost of duct work can be as expensive as the cyclone itself depending on your shop layout. To keep the suction efficient and the cost reasonable, you'll want to share a main trunk line with as many machines as possible and keep the runs to your tools as short as possible. Because this cyclone creates so much sucking force, the duct construction is fairly heavy gauge steel, much heavier than traditional duct used in a home heating system. Oneida sells everything you need, elbows, Ys, drops, blast gates, etc. And they will help you put together a parts list to meet your shop layout. Once installed, operation is no brainer. Just push the button on the remote before making a cut and enjoy the new benefits of no more dust thrown in your face. Your machines perform better and the air is cleaner. That said, all those chips have to go somewhere which is the bin below the cyclone. And you have to remember to empty it. For me, it's about once a month, depending on what I've got going. 
If you do forget to empty the bin, the collector will continue to try to dump chips until they start to fill up the ductwork. Oh boy, does it make a mess when it happens. You pull out the chip bin and shavings will spill out everywhere. Lots of cursing and swearing to follow. After my first swearing session, I added a small plexiglass window in the top of the bin so I could check the fill level. I just cut a hole in the sheet metal with the jigsaw and then added a small piece of glass attached with a bead of silicone and a few screws. Shine a flashlight into the window and you can see exactly what's going on inside. If you purchase a V3000 system today, it comes with an infrared sensor that tells you when to dump the chips. I haven't seen it in action, but there are several comments on the website where people seem a bit disappointed with it. As I hinted, dumping the chips is an adventure. The bin gets real heavy once full, and it's got to be one of the dirtiest jobs. It creates a huge dust plume when dumping, so you'll want to wear a well-fitting N95 mask to protect your lungs. No sense in reversing all the great benefits the HEPA filtration gives you on maintenance day. To help mitigate the mess, I upgraded to plastic liners for the bin. Kind of like putting a liner in your kitchen trash can. The difference is, there's a negative air pressure in the cyclone bin, and it will suck up the plastic liner into the cyclone unless you take steps to counteract the pressure differences. When I purchased my system, Oneida sold an accessory air system to neutralize the pressure on the bin liner. It was an expensive add-on that never did work. After using guys like me as a guinea pig and realizing it was a big fail, Oneida discontinued the product and switched to a stiff plastic cylinder that goes inside the liner bag, holding it up against the wall. I occasionally had issues with this system too. The plastic cylinder would collapse and my liner bag would end up in the filter. I modified their plastic cylinder sleeve by adding these rings to stiffen the whole thing up. It's just an eighth inch aluminum flat bar that I bent and attached with some screws. Finally, my bag sucking nightmare is cured. Once the kinks are worked out, you can just pull the bag out and drop it into your trash can. No mess, no fuss. Depending on what machines you've used to fill the bin, you might also need to service the filter and flower cup as well. I usually service it along with the filter about every other time I empty the big chip bin. I typically beat the outside of the filter and blow it off with compressed air to get the cake flowers to fall down into the cup. Then wait a few minutes for them to settle before removing the cup. The design of this cup could be better. There are four clamp knobs at the bottom that have to be loosened equally to free the cup. Once the cup is off, dumping is also tricky because there's a lip on the top of the cup, so you end up shaking the flour out, making your own hazardous dust cloud. Like I said, you'll want to wear a mask. Once you get the hang of servicing the system, you can empty and refresh your machine in about 15 minutes. So for just a few minutes a month, this V3000 keeps on giving. Every time I make a cut, sand a board, joint, plane, or route, the V3000 is running and it does it without complaint or hiccup. After more than a decade of use, I have some lessons learned to share if you are thinking of purchasing a system. If possible, locate your collector outside your work area, in another room or a dedicated closet. This will isolate you from the noise of the whirling cyclone. If that's not possible, build a box around it like I did. My noise suppression box is just some melamine panels connected to vertical cleats mounted on the back wall. I also lined the box with some old carpet pieces. The result dramatically cuts down on the noise that it makes. Oneida has improved the noise suppression on the new V-System offerings by adding a muffler on the exhaust side. Again, I can't speak to the effectiveness, but any effort to quiet this beast is welcome. Lastly, and perhaps the most important advice I can offer, is don't buy too small. I started out with a 1.5 horsepower system and quickly outgrew it. Oneida has lots of offerings, and many of them weren't available to me a decade ago, such as their Smart Boost technology, which handles large loads better than my system. 
Still, I would say bigger is better. Get at least a three horsepower machine for a small shop and larger if your shop is bigger than a garage setup. I hope you found this review helpful. I should mention that I received no money or paid products from Oneida. All purchases were made with my own money. These are solely my opinions and experiences with their products. As they say, your mileage may vary. I would like to ask for your support by hitting that thumbs up button. I also would love to hear about your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you for my next video. That's my subtle way of asking you to subscribe. Cheers.